You know, the, the, the Jews, in the Yiddish language, there's this word, Fargin. Mm. It's a beautiful word. Yes. They, they come at it differently, but this word, Fargin, here's what it means. It means that if we are in a community and you're doing something, yeah. even if somebody outside the community can do it better, cheaper, and faster, we buy from you. And when you get it wrong, we come to you, Sikhal mm. Sapans. Sit, you got this, this, this wrong, fix it. Then we buy again. SS. It's called Fargin. The reason that's important mm. is because now you've got to understand our psychology. So what do we do? You start something and you sell. We buy it. Mm. Then we go on social media and go, Futi Pugi Lilenta Sebens no Sebens. Sure. Begatabangut Wenza. Put Nala Matewaki, Manamoshega fast. Yeah. Yeah. Then, we, then we're the same people that go, but why is black wealth not growing? Sure. Right. Interesting. Man. That's why the Jews are fucking rich as fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, dude. You know, you know, here in LA, there's a, there's literally a city devoted to Jews. Yeah. 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 There's actually a couple of cities, but there's, like one main one that's just all Jews and, and, and they have their own restaurants. Uh, they're actually really nice people. Yep. They're more, they remind me of like, uh, like Eastern people. They're like, they're not nice, but they're kind. They're like, they'll fucking yell at you, but they're like, do you fucking need help? Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah, of thing? yeah. 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 So they remind me of like, you know, like Eastern, uh, like we need New Yorkers, you know, they're not nice, but they're very kind people. Yeah, man. Would you, what's your, um, what's your take chat? Unless, unless you got more stuff to say, Frankie. Uh, well, if, it, if chat uh, can go. Okay. Uh, I it mean, it's true. Like, I actually talked about this with my coworkers. Like, uh, I, I can only say, like, black Americans, they, they basically selfish. They're to themselves now. And they're not like, uh, they're not like wanting to, you know, support themselves anymore. Not when I say themselves, I mean like their community, like how Asians, you know, how Asians and Mexicans, uh, they be living together until they uh, would like multi-family homes, and then once that that family pays off the house, they buy the next house, and then they all they all live together, and then just buying houses and growing from there you know oh, yeah. it's not like that yeah uh it's not like that any for black americans because like you know what they had to go through over here with like slavery and just fighting for themselves you know yeah. so like we were raised you know together I mean, the majority of like asian culture uh mexican uh, basically, almost every other culture, they're a race to be together. Like, when you see people click up, they click up. Like, it's like Asian click up, Mexican click up, you know? Yeah. Like, that, com that basically camaraderie and uh, the willing to help uh, your fellow man, you know? I think, I think, I believe, I, believe, um, I blame on society because the American society, because the fact that. You know, it's like, oh, you're 18 years old. If you want independence, you can go out and live by your, by your own means. Versus, like, obviously staying with the parents and saving more money and buying a house is more ideal. But in reality, they convinced this, like, oh, you got to be independent. And, like, you want your own privacy. You want to do your own thing. You want to do your own parties. You can go buy, your, you know, spend that money instead of doing that. It's go spend it on your own life. But then still be really broke, and that's the American culture. That's why nobody is able to save up money because in, in in the Jews or the, the old culture, like they do do that. You know, they do save up money living together, and they do go and and uh, buy houses and you know combine money. But nowadays, it's just like oh, everyone's so independent that everyone's broke because they're yeah. so independent. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I bring the I, I blame the culture, man, the American culture, because. You know, they're doing it right, man. Look at the, but like, you know, for Black Wall Street, you know, over here in Tulsa, 
everything was thriving for Black Wall Street until like and they supported their community and did that and stuff but it got t- tore down you know what I'm saying yeah by a, bunch, by, by a bunch of racist people <laughs> yeah exactly it's by a bunch of white people uh <laughs> And then I think that's like the stigma, like because if you build something together, they're just gonna. I think deep inside they're like someone's gonna tear it down. So if you do, if you do for yourself, it's a couple like now they're competing against each other. You know what I'm saying? It's all it's like who has to have the best you know, media, like yeah, exactly media, social media, and everything influence. Oh, I gotta have the best stuff, you know for myself you know what i'm saying well i, well, I think that's why okay so i'm gonna chime in right so i think you know yeah. I, I really like this you know concept of of just combining our economic resources to build our own community up you know um yeah. and 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 that takes a lot of you know good leadership with good intent uh because some people aren't just you know most people aren't gifted with leadership and most people you know don't have the greatest ideas you know so so i think that's 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 a challenge, but I think the idea of of uh, the culture being committed to growing, I think that's very mm. important. I think that's that's how something like that can happen. Is if everybody's not you know bullshitting or slacking off, you know, making excuses and bullshit like that, then 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 that kind of concept is not going to work, right? But if everybody's on the same page of, you know, I am not the smartest motherfucker on planet Earth, but I'm going to do. You know I what I can, yeah. you know, and I'm gonna continue, yeah. continue, yeah, contribute, and to continue mm. to to do this for my community, right? Yeah. And so if we keep our finances right within that community, and that's it's just only gonna compound, right? Especially when you incorporate uh, buying assets, right, starting a business, and getting money from outside our community, bringing you know, and just feeding that animal, right? Then then you can do beautiful things like a family, right? just 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 within a family like um you you can you can create wealth and i think oh yeah definitely i think that and then but but it's it's because of i think frankie mentioned it right this is our society is all about keeping up with the jones competing against each other right um and 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 with that mentality you know materialism and 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 all that bullshit right you mentioned it too right black wall street oh you know people somebody's gonna somebody somebody's gonna come after us right so there's no really point to it but yeah. so so there's all yeah. these things all these obstacles to overcome before you can even really start something like that but but man if 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 friends can you know even come together family can come yeah. together and, and, and join like, forces uh, man you change that's like you know victor you know victor austin and i we bought a house together yeah and we just like calculated everything like because yeah. i stayed with austin for like uh three years and we calculated the cost of owning an apartment yeah for that time we could have been on a house you know what i'm saying oh yeah dude that's so, an example like, of 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 that term for again you know it's just collaborating and, and working together yeah. to make it make something happen you know so, so like during that time we spent fifty four thousand dollars just on apartment Damn. without without the garages we had we had like three garages uh shit so yeah it's just uh i think uh the more we we grow uh the more that time passes it gets better for for us it's called maturing uh, philip that's what it's called it's called uh maturing <laughs> not, not nothing just us in general but like for us to build uh gener- ger- generational wealth yeah. as well you oh, know yeah, what i'm saying 100 percent, you uh, said it like uh that's why you know that's why victor and i we we link up really well yeah and we we just have a plan this is what we're gonna do we we we, we do it like our ancestors you know like live together build each other up and then uh, grow from grow from this house, move from this house, sell it, because we already have equity in this house. And then uh, move to a bigger house with a shop, and then you know. Yeah. Well, you guys move to uh, another house. Uh, I'm still at the same house that we we bought. Yeah. 
but uh, we're eventually going to move from here because it's uh, it's building up a lot of equity. Like we're, we're we bought this house like for a hundred and sixty. Now it's at like two twenty five, I think. Yeah. So it just in that short period of time, it, while was growing. Uh. Yeah, that then you know the point that you make, man. I think there's the internal battles that we have to recognize too, because like you know, Victor is a very generous, honest person. So finding people like that is very, is very hard. hard. Yeah. yeah. So like a trustworthy person, because like you know, it's easier said than done, right? Because yeah. it has to be very selective people for you to go in all in with uh, with a friend. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, you have to, you know, like find that person, regardless if it's your family member or your friend. You know, if you if you have a plan and you they're down and you're down to make sacrifices. Oh yeah, dude. Know? That's why, like for for me, my kids, man, they they have no choice. It's whatever dad yeah. says. <laughs> well, you're gonna get married one day. You're gonna bring them into, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, you know, like, you know cause, uh, like a lot of people just trust me with uh, the plan and have to execute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people who trust me, they're just a lot for the ride, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. But, but man, you know, and, and I just, I just, I just like this concept very much. I mean, I mean, cause like for me, a legacy is a big thing. And then just trying to instill, you know family and into my kids you know head that hey you know we have to work together and combine you know our efforts and our strengths and our intentions so that way we can continue to create um you know like what you said philip generational wealth you know um, because it's not it's not just monetary but it's it's um or yeah it's just it's not monetary it's not just financially but it's it's mindset too yeah. um so 